Oh, boom, there it is, Cydia. What's up guys and welcome back to the hack spot now today the iOS 11 through iOS 11.1.2 jailbreak has been released now today's video i'm going to be talking about everything you guys need to know all right now to start with wallpaper link on my twitter page but anyways this jailbreak was developed by abraham masri and he's known for the saigon jailbreak for ios 10.2.1 and also the houdini jailbreak which i did not make a video on but it's still there this jailbreak is a lot more significant because it's for ios 11 through ios 11.1.2 now make sure that you guys go into your settings, general, and then about, and check to see that you are on this version, and do not update. So there it is, iOS 11.1.2. If you are on iOS 11.2.1, this jailbreak will not work. That is above this firmware firmware and it will not work so that's very unfortunate but hopefully we'll have another jailbreak soon but right now as of right now and again as of right now this jailbreak is meant for developers not really users but you can still get city on your device but you can't really install that many tweaks or anything like that but you will have city up and once it is updated you can update through city and then boom you can install all your tweaks and all that jailbreak good stuff abraham himself said that he doesn't prefer people installing this jailbreak IP on your device because again it's meant for developers right now but if you still want to install Cydia and soon install an update through Cydia that will allow you to install tweaks here's how to do so so credit goes to iDevice help for finding this link which has a signed version of this jailbreak it's called Tupanga and anyways you want to open this up inside the Safari app not YouTube so once you tap on it there'll be a Safari icon in YouTube tap on the Safari icon and once you are in the actual Safari app you'll be brought right here wait five seconds hit skip this ad and you'll be brought to a new page for the advertisement. Just go ahead and hit this button and then go back. So just X out of here, go back to this page, hit skip this ad again, and you'll get this install prompt. Now this will install the app. Don't worry, it's perfectly safe. But again, it's meant for developers only right now. But again, if you still want to install it, here's how to do so. It's pretty simple. And now what we got to do is wait for it to download and install. Now, the amount of users trying to install this is pretty big, so it might take some time. Just let it down on your device, have a coffee, eat some popcorn, watch a movie, and by the time you come back, it'll be done. Okay, now, while I was downloading right here, I just want to say that many people doubted that there would ever be an iOS 11 jailbreak and that jailbreaking was dead. Now, this shows that that is not true. And anyways, now it's installed right here. You guys can see two panga. Now, guys, for me, open up just fine, but if you get a prompt that says untrusted or something like that, what you want to do is go back to settings, and then go to general, scroll down until you find profiles and device management, and over here, tap on the profile, you guys will see there right there, to panga, and it will say trust, tap on trust, and in the pop-up, tap on trust again, and now you will be able to open up the application. Let's go ahead and tap on this, and just to preface guys, this will not work the first time, it's very unstable right now, so you might have to reboot your device and try again, so anyways, Let's go click right there, tap on this X on this advertisement, and okay, I think I clicked on it. Dang it. Okay, let's try again. I'm going to click on it, hit the X. Okay, so here we are, 2.panga. Anyways, all you got to do is tap to jailbreak, and that is basically it. Now we'll start jailbreaking the device. All I did do is wait. I think it just crashed, so we might have to try again. Um, screen's black. It's going to wait to see what happens. And looks like it's rebooting my device. Again, this is very unstable. If you don't get city on your device, again, reboot your device, turn it off, turn it back on, and then try this again. Okay, so it looks like my phone just restarted. We are back inside. And looks like we still do not have city yet. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and try this again. And it might take a couple or even five tries, I think. Uh, these ads. Dang it, I clicked on it. Let's go X out of here, go back, and tap on the X. Wait, hold on, there is no X. Let's go and tap on skip at the bottom. And here we are again. So let's tap to jailbreak. Hopefully it will work this time. Let's go and see what will happen. So it says installing City is taking a little bit more time. So I think we might be in the clear. Let's go and keep waiting. Oh, there you go. Finished. So I think now it's going to reboot my device or not. Uh, I'm not sure if I should exit. I'm really... Oh, boom. There it is. City Cool. So it will not reboot your device or respring it. It will just pop up on your home screen. So now tap on it to open it up. And... Okay, so it's taking some time to load. So I don't think it's really updated for the iPhone 10 yet. 
Uh, but hopefully that will be coming soon. And by the way, this is a tethered jailbreak, meaning that every time you reboot your device, you will have to open up this jailbreak app again and rerun it. So let's tap on tap to jailbreak again, wait for the process to finish, and then your city app will be working again. It will open up. Otherwise, it will just crash immediately if you don't do that after you reboot. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video right in time for the holidays. So that's great. Hopefully, we have an up and running, completely functional jailbreak soon. And install all your favorite jailbreak tweaks. It's going to be a lot of fun. Anyways, have a great day, guys. Peace out.